Outside here at Toyota Stadium of the FCS National Championship, JMU Falls, North Dakota State, 17 to 13. I'm Bobby Broyles along with Rob Washburn. And Rob, obviously not the result we look for, but you know what? This game had so much built up. And, and you know, sometimes games like this don't live up to them, but this one did today. It certainly did. Number one, number two, and, and two teams that built their legacy on top-ranked defenses, and that's what we got today. North Dakota State only 264 yards, only 241 to James Madison. It was a hard fought. You were down on the side lines hard-hitting yep. game on both sides and ultimately it came down to a few too many mistakes for James Madison something that they haven't done here all year long and a quality opponent in North Dakota State who took advantage and came up with their sixth national title absolutely and you know when we look at this game you know so many twists and turns especially on the JMU side down 17 to 3 at one point we're able to get the field goal before half then in the second half we're able to shut out the bison in the second half and a couple huge special teams plays that we thought at one point would maybe overcome some of their mistakes yeah i think special teams was was a bright spot in, in yes. a lot of ways for james madison today dan start with d'angelo amos the punt returner a 37 yard return in the first half that set up their first field goal a 33 yard return in the third quarter that set up that touchdown that brought them back to 17 13. A blocked field goal by yep. Simeon Robinson that kept the Dukes down by just four. And then Harry O'Kelly on the final drive <laughs> that was on, on, a, on a fake punt that puts him in position for a potential game-winning touchdown. So special teams, certainly a bright spot for James Madison today. We caught up with a pair of seniors after the game, and this is what they had to say and, and talked about their legacy a little bit. Uh, this, this senior group is special. Um, you know, I, was, I feel blessed to, to have come in with these guys, and you know, especially the – the guys that are redshirt seniors now, um, you know, we've got a we've got a unique makeup. You know, we've got the guys that are in my class that didn't redshirt, and the guys who are a little bit older than us that did. And you know, we've gelled together really well these last couple of years, going through coaching change. Um, and you know, it's it's been special what we've been able to do. And um, you know, obviously, we wanted to bring another one back to JMU, but you know, we'll have our talks with the younger guys, and you know, just telling them to remember how it felt. And uh, you know, because you know, we want to come back here as alumni next year and watch them play. It's been an amazing run, you know. I, I love these guys that I have in the locker room. You know, I've been with them for a long time. We're a great family. Um, these are guys that I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be friends with, you know, long, long run down the future. And I'm just, I'm happy for these guys, and they, they have, um, they have a positive outlook on life, and, and I'm, you know, they, they create, they instill that in me, you know, being around them for so long. And I've changed because of them, and I'm happy for that. Obviously, hearing from Simeon Robinson there, who had a phenomenal game today, and Brian Shore, a couple of seniors that were part of this group that just a remarkable run they've had to get here for a second time. Yeah, 26 wins in a row. Yeah. That streak came in. It never happened. Second longest streak ever, only to North Dakota State's 33. Uh, it just doesn't happen in college football. And what these guys have done un under Mike Houston, two straight trips to Frisco, mm -hmm. they've built a program. Uh, they talked about it a lot in the in the post game. These guys have s established a legacy, a tradition. North Dakota mm -hmm. State already has it. James Madison is building one. Yep. And, and a lot of it is because of this group of seniors that has taken them to this point. And, and I think the future is bright. But it, it, as long as this thing continues to go on, people will look back on Simeon Robinson and Brian Shore and this great mm -hmm. senior class and what they've built at James Madison. Absolutely. Well, that will wrap up our coverage here in Frisco. Uh, Tim will be joining me back next week as we wrap up the season and take a look at this game one more time uh, next week on This Week in CA Football. But, Rob, for now, it was a it was a enjoyable run here. It was a great weekend, and, and you know, we saw a great game. Yeah, two, two of the best teams in FCS football going head-to-head -head in a hard-hitting game. Other than a victory, you couldn't ask for much more. Absolutely. Well, that's it from us here in Frisco. We'll see you back at the CA headquarters next week.